YouTube welcome back to another reaction video and first and foremost we're going to start off by saying thank you for the new subscribers who come to this channel I said in the last video that I was going to you know acknowledge everybody that's new thank you for being new subscribers if you are new subscribers we're going to try and keep this ball rolling you read the title we already know what it's about and we already know who it's about Long Beach Griffey so let's get it I appreciate you all All right, let's jump into this. Hey, bro, I just ordered Hogwarts Legacy. Excuse me, guys. Hold up. What's, what's good, bro? Bro, ain't my pronoun. What's up with the bitch. hair? Did you really just say you getting that motherfucking Hogwarts game? Yes, ma'am. If you buy, oh, that's a man. Hogwarts Legacy. Read any of the books. Have any of the merchandise. Watch any of those fucking movies. You are contributing to transphobia. Jesus Christ, how? Because J.K. Rowling is a transphobe and Harry Potter is deeply rooted in transphobia. Everything J.K. Rowling what does, including breathe, is transphobic. Well, what did J.K. Rowling say exactly? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I never researched it. All really? I know is she's transphobic based on the Twitter feeds of my peers. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh. Well, I don't want to be transphobic. I mean, I heard, I heard though, there wasn't any transphobia in the game. D did you play it? L listen, listen, I don't have to play a game to know that it's transphobic Lord. and harmful to trans persons. Hmm. Here we go. How are trans persons being harmed by other people playing a video game that more than likely doesn't have transphobia in it at all? Um, exactly. It's harmful to our rights <laughs> and it's making us upset that people are playing the game and it just sets us back 400 years okay so it seems like you're just making things up right now well i'm pretty sure people aren't thinking about trans persons in a derogatory way i don't think so neither game um have you seen i don't even i don't even follow harry potter and hogwarts like that i really don't i mean call it as you want i mean i up to this day i got a couple of people that's in my family they be they looking at me funny right now I'm talking about man you never look at none of nope never ever i know they done made six seven movies eight <laughs> you know i followed i mean i followed the timeline but i haven't looked at haven't looked at the movies and then the game comes out then everybody is like all on it you know playing it and stuff like that and i'm like damn like i'm left in the dark with this in twitter no one is taking us serious they keep saying that they're gonna buy the game anyway and, and they're saying that we're yeah. reaching has anyone in the lbgt ever reached on twitter oh. i'm glad he did that i'm glad he did that because when you sit up there to myself, say, have they ever reached? Oh, my God. That's where the cancel culture came from. Really? Came from the whole Twitter thing. They voicing their opinions, how they felt about it. I mean, for him to go back and actually just. Yeah. That face when you actually look at him and you just be like, yeah. Have you? <laughs> Boy. Oh. Do you like Disney? Lack of trans representation, but I suppose. Well, Walt Disney was racist. Like, a little yeah. Nazi. But years later, all the TV and films are hella inclusive. J.K. Rowling may or may not have said something transphobic, but years later, due to prior events, so the Hogwarts legacy is all inclusive. You know, so I think Walt Disney and J.K. Rowling kind of go hand in hand. Okay, if I can be fair, what, what you're saying is J.K. Rowling is also a racist Nazi and a transphobe. Oh my God! I'm telling Twitter right now. I'm out. Johnson, you're fired. <laughs> oh boy. I'll be mean, gonna say the same thing. I'll be like, I'm out, yo. I'm out. 
You can't you can't satisfy them. I'm out. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not speaking, I'm not saying that for everybody, but that's how it usually goes. Like you can't you can't satisfy them. You can't satisfy everybody. You mean you try to try to make a point, you know. It doesn't go it doesn't go in their favor or whatever, so what can you do? Just walk away from it, you know. If you stand by what you believe, you stand by what you believe. And you can't change everybody's mind. But, yeah. I don't have anything against gays, trans, you know, transgender or anything. I'm going to put that out there. I don't have anything against it. But it's just some of the topics, they be kind of a little bit high strung a little bit, you know. Do they have their opinions? Yes. Do we have our opinions? Yes. But, you know. It's just voices against voices. That's the only thing I can say. I'm going to leave it like that. Without further ado, I'm going to let y'all go about your business. And please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button with the notification bell on. I'm out this thing. I'll see you in the next video.